when you're climbing solo, you don't have the luxury of having someone to pull the top in a particular direction for you. So the usual procedure is to just go ahead and remove all of the branches on the side that you don't want it to fall to and leave the others so that they'll pull it in the right direction. So we'll go back down and make our cut here and hopefully all of these branches will pull this top that way. Freeze frame analysis. On the plus side, all of the potential clubs above me have been removed. On the minus side, the two stem tops are pretty well intertwined. Since this is a uh, co-dominant stem, I'm actually going to go ahead and transfer over to this other stem so that uh, in case anything happens with this one when I cut it, it uh, won't whip me around. Okay, we're transferred over to the dominant stem and everything's clear so we'll go ahead and cut this one use a Humboldt cut on this to try and make sure it goes over that direction Frame analysis 2. At this moment in time, I am trying to push the top over, and it is telling me it doesn't want to go. I should have stopped and reassessed the situation, but I kept cutting. Oh well. While we're up here, we'll go ahead and get these. And I'm going to call it a day.
Well, that didn't work. <sighs> Lessons for this novice. Number one, do a serious evaluation of the top's intentions before cutting into it. Number two, if it's not going to fall away from me, position myself as far out of the way as possible. I should probably have stopped the chainsaw, finished with my handsaw, and kicked it free from higher up on the larger stem.